In this chapter we are going to talk about layers and layer masks and how you can use them. Uh, in, your, in the layers panel, as you can see we have a single layer right now, which is called the background layer. And as this little lock symbol indicates, this layer is locked. And to be able to have better, to gain better flexibility and editing capability on this layer, you should unlock the layer. If a layer is locked, uh, which happens often when you open a JPEG image for the first time, you double click on the layer and when this dialog box comes up, you can name it anything you want. Let's just say retouch creative and if you click OK, y you see that the symbol disappears and the layer becomes unlocked. Uh, also down here, there are some options to create, uh, for instance, uh, to create new layers and to create some effects for the layers. Uh, you can uh, create a new layer by clicking on the new layer button and if you click you see that a new layer just pops out and you can rename that layer by double clicking on the text and you can name it anything you like and you can delete the layer by selecting that layer and clicking on the trash bin or or you can just uh, drag it to the uh, trash bin also let's say you have several layers and to better organize you can use the groups which is the third symbol from the right over here and you can drag different uh, layers into that group and you can collapse that group which gives you a better workflow you can also delete a group by dragging it down to the tr trash bin so now uh, let's delete these uh, layers oh also another thing is that you can um, or uh, um, organize the layers such as that you can drag one and drag it below another one and you can uh, this way effectively control which layer is on top of the other one and you can select multiple layers by control clicking and you can drag those several layers that you have selected down to the trash bin or to the new layer button to copy also if you want to create an exact clone copy of a layer for instance this retouch creative layer that we have we can drag it down to the new layer button uh, the symbol and it will create an exact copy of that layer uh, also uh, up here is the layer blending modes automatically every layer is set to normal uh, now that we have two layers we can experiment with how these two layers interact with one another when you have a layer that's selected and if you change its layer blending mode it will change the way it affects with the underlying layer for instance we have two layers one on top of each other and we have the topmost layer selected if we go through and click on multiply you can see that the image becomes much darker if you click on screen you see that the image becomes brighter and the thing is that you're really not uh, affecting the underlying layer you're just changing how these two layers are interacting with one another you can set it to overlay and uh, there are many options to set also by changing the opacity of a selected layer in this case the top layer you can reduce its opacity and effectively reduce the effect as you can see and you can set it back to normal and down here let's talk about the, um, the uh, new fill layers the adjustment layers once a uh, layer is selected you can click on the fill and adjustment layers and a bunch of options pop out for instance a solid color if you select any one of these and let's go ahead and select the gradient in this case and we can go ahead and select from many different gradients if we select this and click OK we create a new uh, adjustment layer and we can change how this interacts with the underlying layers again by changing its uh, blending mode as you can see and uh, we can delete this and uh, add another one for instance let's add a hue and saturation Oops. excuse me let me close this here we go the hue and saturation is added 
right here and if you double click on the uh, hue and adjust uh, hue and saturation the, the uh, dialog box opens up the adjustment dialog box and you can uh, change the hue and saturation of the image of the layer itself without actually affecting the layer you're just uh, changing how this hue and saturation adjustment layer affects with the underlying layer and let's close this okay also uh, you can create a clipping mask by uh, by alt clicking to where two layers meet as you can see if you press alt and bring your cursor to where this top layer and the retouch creative copy layer meets the symbol of two circles intersecting happens and if you click on it what you do is now uh, an arrow shows that this adjustment layer is only affecting the layer directly beneath it and uh, this becomes handy when you uh, have when you're using masks or when you uh, have a layer that is not completely full but only have different only have partial elements and you only want to affect those partial elements you can use the clipping mask to uh, to be able to adjust the effect of the layer that's above it and also if you want to get rid of the clipping uh, layer you again repeat the exact same process so let's go ahead and get rid of this adjustment layer just like we have uh, done previously uh, now let's talk about layer masks layer masks uh, as its name suggests allows you to mask certain portions of a layer you can add a layer mask to a layer while having that particular layer selected you can uh, come down to the layer mask symbol at your layers p panel and if you click on it a rectangle will be added to that layer it will automatically be filled with white and it will automatically come as selected as you see if I click on the thumbnail image of on the layer now I can actually work on this layer and edit the image but if I want to work on the layer mask I click on the layer mask rectangle and I can start working on that layer mask to be able to better demonstrate this I'm going to select the thumbnail of the layer so that I can actually affect the, uh, the image and I'm going to turn it in to uh, black, and uh, black and white by selecting hue and saturation and completely desaturate it I'm going to click OK so now our uh, top layer is black and white and our bottom layer is still in color and I will go ahead and select the layer mask and you work on the layer mask with uh, your brush tool uh, let me select a normal brush here we go with the brush tool if I go ahead and change my foreground color to black and if I start painting on the uh, on that layer mask as you can see that wherever I paint with black on the layer mask is showing the layer that is underneath uh, that is uh, that is actually beneath this uh, layer that we're working on now this is great to be able to blend two different layers together and blend two different effects that you've created in separate layers if I go back to white with a large brush and just paint over as you can see I can reveal the top layer again and you can see what areas you're, you're uh, affecting from this little thumbnail again I will repeat this one more time let's say that I'm just painting over her face and once I'm done you can see here on the thumbnail of the layer mask what areas are black and what areas are white and this shows that at the areas that are black on the layer mask we don't see this top layer no more it's becoming completely transparent and it is uh, it is actually showing the layer beneath it okay also uh, another thing let me go ahead and paint with white again as you can see I got rid of this effect that we created but I go back to black and and I'm just using my regular brush tool by the way and up here if I just bring down its opacity of the 